All right, guys, we talked about the fraction concept um, when we're dealing with a bar that's a whole. Remember, a fraction is a part over a whole, and then we have a numerator over a denominator. Um, I also took a look at taking fractions when we have a circular um, as our whole. And now what I just want to kind of remind you, just kind of go back over one last part. Um, remember our whole, right, is how many parts it takes us to section off to make that one whole. So if I give an example here. All I did, even though I wrote in those red lines, that didn't change the size of the whole, right? All I did was section it off into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now, I said that before it was one whole bar, correct? Well, now what I've done is I've sectioned it into eight parts. Now, if I select to, let's say, choose all eight of those parts, what I'll have is 8 over 8. Right? I've chosen eight parts out of a total of eight. Well, eight divided by eight equals one, which gives us one whole bar. So it's really important for you to understand that you know, fractions, usually when our fractions, we're taking parts and they're going to be part of the whole and it's going to be less than one. Right? Well, just remember though, if I, have, if I choose all of my parts, it's going to give me my one and that's where we kind of get the whole. So just to kind of take a look at another example here. Um, Let's just take a look at 1 half. Okay? So right now, what you can say is I have, I've chosen 1 half, right? Well, if I choose the other half, now what I've had is I've chosen a total, and I'm kind of getting a little bit into adding here, but you have 1 half plus 1 half is going to equal 2 over 2, which is going to give me one whole circle. So it doesn't really matter if we're going to be dealing with circles or we're going to be dealing with rectangles or really dealing with anything that's going to be evenly divided. But just the main important thing I want you to get out of um, this little lesson that I've talked about with fractions is just remember it's going to be your part over your whole. All right, where part is the number of parts you select and whole is going to be all the how evenly um, your whole is being divided into. So it could be divided into eight parts could be divided into two parts, four parts, six parts, eight parts, two parts, three parts, six parts. There's a lot of different options out there for you. So there you go, guys. That's a little uh, lesson for fractions.